The inspiring story of a woman not letting a debilitating disease get in the way of her life's mission. Jennifer Lynn Hoffman is a teacher helping kids here in Western New York who are struggling with learning disabilities, but she's also fighting an aggressive form of cancer. There's a benefit this weekend to help her get through all of this and to on your sides, Emily Lampa, she has her story time. I knew the need was so great in Western New York and I wanted to help as many people as I could. Jennifer Lynn Hoffman is the director of Western New York Dyslexia Specialists. Her company is relatively new. It opened just three years ago. The certified teacher admits she had no plans on becoming a business owner, but a startling realization came when she started tutoring kids with reading. Teaching school did not prepare her to help kids diagnosed with dyslexia. I started investigating why. I didn't investigate dyslexia specifically. I just investigated why. Literally, and teachers will know this, it kept me up at night. It became her mission to specialize in dyslexia reading and spelling instruction. Also, to dispel some of the myths and stigmas surrounding a learning disability that she says has nothing to do with intellect. But just as her business was taking off, a huge bombshell. I found a lump under my tongue that it didn't go away. August 2018, Jennifer was diagnosed with stage 3 oral tongue cancer. Doctors removed a third of her tongue. Despite all this, Jennifer says the hardest part, being away from her students. About half a year passed and she thought she was in the clear. She started working on a new online course to help educate teachers and then another series of bombs dropped. I really felt like the air just totally drained right out of me. A mass in her neck, more surgery. The cancer was back and more aggressive than ever. In the four weeks since our interview, Jennifer had several rounds of chemotherapy. Her husband says she hasn't stopped working and had the pictures to prove it. When you see your wife working through what is perhaps the greatest struggle of her life, how does that make you feel? Very proud, very proud because <clears throat> If I had what she had, I would be curled up in a ball. But she has such a drive. While the tumor was expanding, while the pain was increasing, she did client intakes for new parents. Bye. Bye. Taking it easy, a hard lesson for this reading teacher. In her interview with us last month, she didn't want cancer to be the takeaway from her story, but increased awareness about dyslexia and the need for more education for teachers. The more willing and receptive they are to how a dyslexic child learns differently from everything we've ever been taught in our teacher training, um, that is, that is, I feel personally that that is going to make the biggest impact. And the latest update from Jennifer is that the chemo has helped shrink the tumor. And for that reason, doctors moved her surgery up earlier to August 9th. As for the benefit for Jennifer, it's this Sunday in West Seneca at Iron Workers Hall on Orchard Park Road from 3 to 8. Scott, Mary Alice. What an impressive mm. couple, and uh, she's just incredible. She, she really, really is. is. Now, if people can't make it out to this fundraiser, uh, I heard there is a GoFundMe page. That's right, there is a GoFundMe page. And we have a link, of course, to that donation site, as well as information for the benefit up on our website right now for you to check out. It's WGRZ.com. It's beautiful. Love story mm -hmm. about the two of them, but she's such a great role model for really not letting her disease, her Absolutely. cancer, her challenge define her. That's right. It's a story that's definitely shareable. No question. Great one. Thank you, Emily.